Thank you for choosing to listen to today's message by Reverend Dr. David Entry. We know you will be blessed as you seek and serve God. We believe that this message will stir up a desire for more of God, even as you listen. Be blessed. Let me just share this scripture with you. I told you that uh, this fasting we are focusing on faith is a faith boosting engagement so we can be able to come in alignment with God's agenda for the season and our, our destinies in God. You will not miss your destiny in Amen. the name of Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtained a good report you will obtain a good report. Amen. Don't forget, he said, why? He said, for by faith, by it, by it. You see, so to get, to obtain this kind of divine results, unusual results and reports, it takes a faith step, engagement of your faith. God is no respecter of persons. Acts Chapter 10, verse 34 and 35. God is no respecter of persons. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Hey, God doesn't respect persons. So it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you are going through. He's no respecter of persons. Whether you are a male or a female, old or young, uh, well-educated or uneducated, Beautiful or not beautiful, handsome or not handsome. Uh, I mean, it, have problems or do don't have problems. God is no respecter of persons. Don't forget this. God is no respecter of persons. Oh, so then what's the problem here? Let's look at the next verse. But in every nation, he that fears God and works righteousness is accepted with him. God accepts certain people. He said, those who fear him and works righteousness. And we understand the Bible says that Abraham's faith was accounted to him for righteousness. So the works of faith is the works that God can consider righteous. The works of faith. And God respects your faith. He's no respecter of persons, but he's respecter of faith. He's respecter of belief. So he said, by if we Hebrews chapter 11 verse, uh, to, for by faith, the elders obtain a good report. Somebody, before the end of this year, you are obtaining a good report. Uh, are you going to do it? By faith. Faith. Are you going to obtain a good report? By faith. So you are obtaining a good report by faith. So if you are going to obtain a good report, that means that you are, it's just like when I'm going to write an exam or you're, when somebody's going to write an exam and you really want to really do well, nail this exam and be the top. If you want to do that, what would you do? You will prepare very seriously. So you will give, you will give maximum preparation or we give maximum input, maximum input into your preparation. In the same way, if you are going to get a good report, we are under. We've understood that by faith, the elders obtained a good report. That means that you are also going to change your faith approach and maximize the faith input, the faith steps. The faith approach. You are feeding your faith to walk by faith. Feed your faith and walk by faith. Feed for the just shall live by faith. We walk by oh God, we walk by faith and not by sight. Feed your faith and walk by faith. Feed your faith and walk by faith. Feed your faith and walk by faith. Amen. By faith, there's a difference between walking by faith and wishing of faith. There are a lot of people who have wishes of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Wishes of faith. I wish. I wish. Oh, I believe God. I believe God will do it. It's a wish. Mm. It remains a wish until it is backed and authenticated and validated by works. If you have faith, why are you saying all that negative concerning yourself and marriage? You have faith. And when we listen to you, we don't hear faith. Mm. We hear fear. We don't mm. hear faith. We hear fake. We mm. don't hear faith. We, we hear uh, discouragement. Mm. 
You have faith, it must show in your talking. It must show in your steps. It must show in your fasting. Please don't fast without faith. Yeah. When you, the, the, your, your tummy begins to rumble, you begin to remember, this thing, I'm doing it by faith. Okay. Yeah. Because I know I will obtain a good report. So I'm keeping my eye onto Jesus, uh, the author and the finisher. Oh, Kabadabaya. The yeah. author yeah. and the finisher of our faith. So he says, by faith, the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that, so that things which are seen were not made by things which do appear. Verse 4. I like verse 4. I'll just read verse 4 to 7 quickly. He said that by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice by which he obtained a witness. God himself gave witness to his, said this one, this man's sacrifice, this man's actions is powerful. He obtained a witness that he was righteous. You see the faith and righteousness, faith and connectivity to righteousness. He obtained a witness. God testified, ah, <laughs> oh God, I pray for that kind of faith that will make heaven testify of my gift. Wow. <laughs> heaven, heaven said, can you imagine? Look at what Abel has given. Heaven was testifying of faith. We are looking for testimony. Heaven was actually testifying about somebody else. <laughs> he was giving testimony about somebody's faith, somebody because of their faith. That will be your story. Amen. Amen. Heaven give testimonies about you. There is no way you will lack testimony on earth. By it, even when he was dead, he was still speaking. Wow. He had a dead man talking. A dead man, this is not a dead man walking, no. a dead man talking. Wow. Your voice will still be where you can go. Why? Faith has moved your voice beyond your limits. Hallelujah. Faith has moved your voice beyond your restriction and limitation and mm. confines, beyond your natural pot potential and natural possibilities. Faith has projected you above the natural limitations. Okay. It says, verse, verse 5, by faith, Enoch. You see, anytime you hear the name Abel, what comes to mind? Most of us, it's Cain that comes to mind because he was killed. My Bible says, when you walk by faith, it is not what is done against you that matters. It is what you end up doing in life that matters, mm. heaven records. So he said, because of his faith, because of his faith, he was able to move heaven to testify concerning him. Because of Enoch's faith, when you hear Enoch, what do you remember? That's somebody who walked with God and God vanished. He walked with God so well, and it was by faith. It wasn't because he was so good and so smart. He was a man who trusted God. He would trust God with any, at any length, at any cost. I feel somebody's breaking through. Somebody's moving from one level to another level. I'm telling you, Amen. somebody's moving. Hmm. Hmm. Look, listen, look at the scripture the Holy Spirit just dropped into my heart. My spirit. I'll come back to Hebrews 11. The scripture, when I say somebody's moving from one state to the other, this, this is the scripture that dropped into my heart and I believe it's of the Holy Spirit. Uh, John chapter 5. In John chapter 5, verse 24. Look at what he says. He says that, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that hears my word, and that's what believes. Say believe. Believe. Believes on him that sent me has everlasting life. He shall not come to condemnation. But what has happened? He has actually passed from one state to the other. Wow. Your believing changes your state, your status. Wow. Lord, I it's just that once you believe, your state, you, have, you have secured a change in status, translated Amen. from one place to the other. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5, by faith, Enoch was translated and did not, so that he, he, did not, he should not see death. <laughs> it's not everything in your life. When, when the, what is happening to other people doesn't mean it must happen to you too. Mm -hmm. You might have the same background, the same story, but your story will be different. Why? Because of faith. By faith, Enoch was translated so that what happened to every man didn't happen to him. Then the next person the Bible mentions, he said in verse, verse 7, by faith, Noah. Noah. When you hear Noah, what do you remember? The ark. How did he do it? Because he was operating by faith. His achievements, his accomplishments were accomplishments of faith. That's what I'm, I'm uh, when you listen, when you hear about Abel, accomplishment of faith. When you hear about uh, Enoch, accomplishment of faith. When you hear about Noah, I want to talk about just these three. All these three people 
Bible says that they had this witness, this accomplishment because of faith. And remember, God said, we too, we live by faith. Is it possible that heaven's pen is ready to testify, testify about your story because of your steps of faith? Will you let heaven down? Don't be afraid. Walk by faith. Take God's word. Believe God's word. And take faith steps. We thank God for you. And so see if God will not show his glory. This season, you are connecting yourself to destiny by faith. This season, you are connecting yourself to what God has purposed for you by faith. Remember to stay connected with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter for regular updates on what God is doing here at Karis Ministries. Stay blessed.